This is an official live stream of the CNCF and as such is subject to the CNCF code of conduct. Please do not add anything to the chat or questions that would be in violation of that code of conduct. Basically, please be respectful of all your fellow participants and presenters. And with that out of the way, welcome to CNC Face Off, where everything is made up and the pods don't matter. And now let me introduce your hosts, the face of DevOps, the thought leader of thought leaders, the, as always, incredibly luscious, the one and only Maddie Stratton. Here we are. This is when the inspiring theme music would play, and we always have something to improve on our next episode, so now we know what it is. Uh, I want theme music is, is what it is. Uh, but yes, welcome to CNC Faceoff Round 2. If you missed uh, two weeks ago, we had Round 1, where the Rogues Gallery faced off against ContribX, and Rogues Gallery uh, were the winner, moving on to uh, the semifinals. We've got two great teams facing off against each other today. And the winner of this face-off is who will face off against the Rogues Gallery in the first round of the semifinals uh, in a few weeks. But let's go ahead and get started and meet our teams. Our first team is Team Tinkerbell, who is led by David. Welcome to the show, David. Hi there. Thanks for having us. My name is David Flanagan. You may know me as Raw Code, and I'm a developer advocate for cloud native Kubernetes and bare metal. Joining Team Tinkerbell is Marky. Hello, my name is Marky. Everybody knows me now as Marty, so please feel free <laughs> to call me Marty. And I also work at Equinix. And rounding out Team Tinkerbell is Jeremy. Hey there. I'm Penguin on the internet, Jeremy to my mother and the law. Um, learn more about Tinkerbell at tinkerbell.org. Excellent. What a great team. And then facing off against them. How many times can I say face off in the same show? I need some new words. Uh, is Team Dev Oops, which is captained by Brendan. Yeah, captain's a strong word, but if it's Dev Oops, I think that that works. Thanks for having me, man. Yes, joining a Brendan is Anais. Hello, my name is Anais, and I work as a uh, site reliability engineer at Sevo, and I started a challenge called 100 Days of Kubernetes, so check that out. It is an amazing thing for you to check out. Everybody go check that out. And <laughs> rounding out Team Dev Oops is Dinesh. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Dinesh. I am Director of Innovation at Sevo. Excellent. All right, so the way this game is going to work is we have surveyed hundreds of uh, DevOps, cloud, cloud native engineers to get their answers to some survey questions. And our teams are going to face off to try to see if they can guess what the most popular answers were. And we're going to start with our first face off with the two captains against each other. So if we can get uh, David versus Brendan, get your hands on your buzzers. What will happen here is the first one to buzz in with an answer that's on the board may have the opportunity to play the round. So with that, let's go ahead and see our first question which is what is the main benefit you get from Kubernetes? And that would be raw code, David. Uh, David, what is the main benefit? What's the top answer on the board? Crash loop backoffs. Show me crash loop backoffs. <laughs> Paul? <laughs> no, that is not it. Okay, so Brendan, Brendan because of uh, that miss, then... Um, that means that uh, Team DevOps gets to play. So we'll go ahead and start with Brendan. So Brendan, uh, we're going to go one person at a time and see if you can uh, guess the top answers on the board for what our hundreds of engineers would have replied as what is the main benefit that you get from Kubernetes? I'm going to go with YAML-based development. Show me YAML-based development. Ah, abstractions. We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay. Moving on to Anais. What, uh, based on our survey, what is the main benefit you get from Kubernetes? You always have an answer to your manager. You always have something to do. You're always busy. I'm busy. Always busy. <laughs> Show me uh, justifying employment. The number one answer on the board. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Team DevOps is off to a great start. Okay. Dinesh. What's the main benefit you get from Kubernetes? Complexity, definitely. Show me Always complexity. something to think about. <laughs> Survey says 
pain. Okay. All right. We'll loop back again to Brendan. Brendan, we surveyed hundreds of developers, and what did they say is the main benefit for Kubernetes? I'm going to go off the board here. I'm going to go serverless is somehow the benefit. Show me something with serverless. Mm. No, oh. first strike. Now, remember, if Team DevOps gets three strikes, then Tinkerbell will have a chance to steal. So, Anais, we got three more answers on the board. Two strikes to go. Give me Use an answer. for containers. Show me containers. Mm. Survey says no. Ooh, ooh, we got one strike, Dinesh. Can you make it happen? Oh, I don't know. It's maybe YAML? I thought we had something with YAML already. You might. I'll give okay. you a. Uh, I could be wrong. Docker. Show me no, Docker. Docker. Mm, ah, uh, OK. So here we go. Now, Team Tinkerbell, this is your chance to steal. So amongst yourselves, you will get one answer. And if that answer is on the board, you will get the points. If it's not, then Team DevOps will get the points. So uh, David, consult amongst your team and then let me know and then come up with your one answer that you're gonna, you're gonna postul postulate. All right, what are we thinking? I'm thinking web scale. I was gonna I'm say thinking, scale. It's either the scale or- uh... Orchestration. What do you want to go with? I'll let you be the decider, Marky. Mm, let's, yeah, okay, let's do orchestration. Show me orchestration. Mm. No. Oh. Ah. So that means the points will go to Team DevOps. Oh. And, but uh, let's see what the remaining answers were on the board. Number six answer was scaling. Oh, oh, Marky. Uh, next answer, content for Twitter shit posting. <laughs> and the final answer on the board is software deployment. All right, so that's gonna move us on to our next round. Uh, it's fine, don't worry, Tinkerbell, there's still, still plenty of time to go. And this is gonna be now Marky facing off against Anais. So players, right. get your uh, hands on the buzzers. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, wait, let me clear raw code out of there. There we go. And our next question is something someone would find installed on your phone. And Anais, the board is yours. Something someone would find installed on your phone, uh, a dictionary. <laughs> Show me a dictionary. No. Hmm? Ball? No. All right, Marky, this is your chance to steal control. Something someone would find installed on your phone. Candy Crush. Show me Candy Crush. Games, okay. Yeah. So Dev Oops will take the board. Uh, Jeremy, you are up first. Uh, why don't you, uh, what's, it, what's an answer to something someone would find installed on your phone? Oh, that blue hell site. Give me, show me Twitter. Show me Twitter. Twitter, number two answer on the board. Okay, David, we surveyed hundreds of developers and engineers and asked them, what's something someone would find installed on their phone? Uh, Reddit. Show me Reddit. Mm. No. Okay, that's one strike. Marky, you still got two strikes to work with, but a lot of answers to come up with. Something someone right. would find installed on your phone. What is VPN? Show me a VPN. Mm. Two strikes. Oh, a lot of pressure, God. Jeremy. A lot of pressure. Come on, Got Jeremy. a lot of board to clear with only one strike to go. Uh, what? So uh, more than two. Uh, how about Slack? Show me Slack. <laughs> Survey says messaging collaboration apps. Number one answer on the board. All right, David, still got four to clear. Uh, this is where it gets tough. Something someone might find installed on your phone. Uh, <laughs> it shouldn't be this difficult. Email? 
Well, we have messaging collaboration apps. I'm giving you a chance to maybe, okay, you know, that we're kind probably of falling under uh, that. So. Pager duty. Show me pager duty. <laughs> Pulled it out. Okay, Marky. Got a couple more to go. What do you got here? Dating app. Show me a dating app. Mm. Oh, oh, all right. Geez. Team DevOps, your chance to steal. There's three answers remaining on the board. Brendan, Kim, get your team together. What do you um, think? We are talk. we allowed to talk? Yeah, we're allowed yeah, to we talk. Can talk. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. absolutely. Yeah, Something yeah, yeah. related to pictures, no? Like yeah, maybe. Picture editing, Instagram. What, but what about, to what about Spotify? I was thinking about Spotify. <gasps> Spotify, music. Yeah. Can we go for music? I was thinking, yeah, I mean, something also like exercise, like Nike music. Run. Or, mm. But music, music is also a good yeah. I'm gonna do it's a safer bet music now. Yeah. Oh let's I go for so. music. Okay. Is that your answer? Yep. Show yeah. me music apps. <gasps> no. <gasps> oh. oh. <laughs> Tinkerbell will take the points. But I would also any like way we can get them. Any way I'd can. like to clarify that I actually do not have dating apps installed on my phone. <laughs> so I just want to. My partner poked her head. It was like, Whoa. oh, that was, was like, not no, great no, time. no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, judges. Let's see what the remaining answers on the board were. Unused productivity apps. <laughs> Malware, and the final answer was. A password manager. Okay. So this is a close game. Two points is not a lot. So everything is still up for grabs with two more rounds to go in the face-off. This next round, we've got uh, Jeremy against Dinesh. So players, are you ready? Hands on buzzers. Our next question is name an observability tool. Dinesh. Prometheus. Show me Prometheus. Number two answer. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, Jeremy, you can steal here if you can name the number one answer on the board for name and observability tool. Uh, let's see Honeycomb. Show me Honeycomb. Number one answer on the board. Okay. Team Tinkerbell will play. Yeah! David, your... Uh, We've got three more to pick from here. You got three strikes to go. The board is wide open. Name an observability tool. Easy peasy. Google Analytics. Show me Google Analytics. Mm, no. Oh, come on. All right, Marky. Name an observability tool. Uh, Sysdig. Show me Sysdig. Mm. No. Oof. Getting this coming down to the wire here, Jeremy. You got two strikes and three answers. Oh. Uh, how do you go, Prometheus? Let's say Grafana. Show me Grafana. Mm. No. Oof. Okay. So, Team DevOps, this is your chance to steal. You got three answers. If you can name an observability tool that's on the board, you will steal the points. Now, also, by the way, I think we all know that the true observability tool is Austin Parker. But, you know. <laughs> so I, I'm thinking I'm thinking either Datadog or just grepping my logs. I would probably go with grepping the logs, raw yeah. logs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's your final answer? Wait, yeah, that's grep. Show. grep. Show me <laughs> grep in the logs. No. Aww. So the points will go to Team Tinkerbell. But let's see uh, what the remaining answers. Uh, you have to give them the points, Paul. There you go. Uh, <laughs> what are the remaining answers on the board? For observability tools. Data dog. Oh. Next answer is Jaeger. And our final answer for name observer, what it says on the board, is Splunk. Okay. So, okay. Team DevOps, you could pull this off. You're going to have to, you're going to have to win this round, and we're going to have to get a bunch. So as we come up with our final face-off, which will be Brendan facing off against David again, hands on your buzzers. Come on, David. Okay. Ready? Let us see what is our final question of the round is, what is something you always have to Google to remember how to do? 
Okay, Brendan, what is what's the, the top answer on the board? Um, I'm going to go with invert an array. Show me invert an array. The survey says. No. Okay. David, your chance to steal. Although, wait, no, I'm sorry. It just goes to Team Tinkerbell. I, I, I don't even remember how to play our own game. Okay, good. Fair enough. Okay, so we'll move to David. David, what is something you always have to Google to remember how to do? Uh, code? <laughs> Show me how to code. <laughs> Programming language syntax. Number one answer on the board. Okay. Marky, there's still a few to go. Uh, you want to make sure you guys run the y'all run the board or else team DevOps can steal and take it all away. Uh, what is something you always have to Google to remember how to do? Log into a server. How to show me logging into servers. Survey says mm, no. Man, I suck. Okay. Man. Jeremy, what do we got here? Something you always have to Google to remember how to do. I was going to go with uh, uh, tar on tar syntax, but that's probably programming language syntax if Bash is uh, a programming language. Um, always have to Google. Oh, I'm stuck. Uh, recipes. Let's go with cooking, rec- uh, cooking food. Show me cooking food, cooking temperatures and techniques. Excellent. All right, back to you, David. Something you always have to Google to remember how to do. Uh, I was going to make a pineapple joke, but I think that's gone with with cooking there. So uh, let's go with regex. Show me regular expressions. Pulled it off there. Okay, Marky. Chance to redeem yourself here. There's still two strikes, so you're not out of it yet. Not out of it yet. Something that I always have to Google to remember how to do. Uh, Take a driving test. Show me driving a car. Mm, No. Man. A lot of pressure here, Jeremy. Back with two strikes again. Yeah. I have to figure out if that's how to drive a car or if that includes driving directions, because Googling driving directions is a popular one. There's no ruling there. Um, jump start a car. No, that would be that'd be a that'd be that'd be car things too. That would be that would be covered. Um, how to exit Vim? Show me how to exit Vim. Mm. Survey says no. All right, so nice Team DevOps, you have a chance to steal here. If you can come up with uh, an answer on the board, you will take those points. Maybe spelling. I was going to say spelling. Or something related to Git. That, or is that inclusive of programming? That might be, well, Git's on the programming line. I like spelling, though, or language. So you're going with, with spelling? Uh, or, or spelling. Still discussing. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, let's discuss. Let's discuss. <laughs> I wrote, the other one I've seen, uh, like train times. Bus or cinema times or something. Wait, that's kind of directions, no? Included. Indirect, at least, I don't know. Google tells me both. <laughs> <laughs> um, the what, weather. What else? I, I, the weather, that's something you... The weather. But do yeah. you really... How to remember how to, how to do, outside? though? But you don't remember how to do the weather. <laughs> oh, did you remember <laughs> what to do? Yeah, how to spell things. I think I mean, spelling. But that spelling I, think, I mean, is like I maybe always have to Google to know. Now, remember, spell. remember that uh, this was asked of engineers. Clean. No. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> engineers. Uh, <laughs> and tech-related folks. Okay, let's let's think about that. Um, I mean, the one I always have to Google is SSL certs. Just anything to do with SSL. Did we have that already? No. Did we? I think we didn't know. Mm-hmm. Nobody mentioned that before. No. Uh, huh. But I feel like it's more generic than that. Or more random. It should be more random because the others are not too random. Like the others. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know. I'm thinking spelling. I, I'm still leaning on spelling just because personal experience. 
I always now, tell people I, I got into wanted, computers because I can't spell. Where's the make, buzzer? Come on. Make this even a little more complicated. <laughs> not only if you want to be able to win everything, we have not only do you have to get it, but you have to get a high answer because you need oh. extra points. Because right now, 21 points will not send you over. But if it's a if it's an answer that is a higher scoring, so not to not to put any additional pressure on this. Oh, but so it all might, does come down to this. Oh, no, we have to get it before they get it. But then. <laughs> <laughs> this is the final final yeah. opportunity to see who moves on to the semifinals. What do you Google? I'm at a disadvantage here. <laughs> oh. I don't know. What do we go for? We are going to need an answer, Team DevOps. Dinesh is leaving. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I say we go with office, the lights I've, keep I've actually, off. I've actually done the math, and it doesn't really matter. So I say we go with spelling. Spelling. Okay. okay. Show me spelling or grammar. And it is no. So the uh. points will go to Team Tinkerbell. And before we uh, round this out, let's see what answers were remaining on the board. It has to be the unguessed right? answers were. Anything with oh, Git. Oh, Anything hurts, with Git. Oh, Git lab guy geez. talk us out of Git. <laughs> and next answer. Arguments or flags for the tar command. Tar. See, yeah. <laughs> and the final answer on the board was Simlinks. Simlinks. Oh, which is geez, which I was surprised one. that one didn't rank higher because that is definitely me. Okay, so. Team points will go to Team Tinkerbell, which gives us a result of Paul checking to see if his bacon is smoked yet, I guess. I think is probably what just happened there. Did he get a page from Bacon Duty? I think he did. Like the um, the, the that's, points that's are done. <laughs> Didn't we do okay. the points? No, no, you have to award the points. Yeah, look, they're at 96. It went up. Oh, oh, These they are the were points awarded. for the unanswered ones. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay, well, that does bring us to our final uh, results for this round of CNCF Faceoff, which gives us uh, Team Tinkerbell are the champions. Team DevOps, you uh, gave them a good run for their virtual money. Um, don't forget to uh, click on the follow button. Follow us here on Twitch. There are great shows every day of the week mm. here on Cloud Native TV. Oh, the Brack. Oh, we forgot two big things. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, first of all, yes, this is as we go through the championships, we will see that uh, we had Team DevOps versus Tinkerbell. They will be facing off against the Rogues Gallery in the semifinals. And then we do have two more regular rounds going. Uh, next, uh, Their next episode will be two weeks from today on August 11th. Uh, one of the teams, uh, we're still uh, constructing the lineup, but it is uh, SLI Sloan and the SRE Street Band uh, uh, will be going against another team. If you would like to submit a team, we still have a slot or two available. If you go to cncfaceoff.tv slash readme, you'll find out all the ways that you can participate. That and team name is not going to fit. No, it's so it's certainly not. It's certainly not going to fit. So. We will have to re, uh, refactor that. Um, and again, Paul, if we could show everyone what uh, these championships are leaving ourselves up to is the CNC Faceoff Cup. So just imagine yourself hoisting this above you at KubeCon. Um, everyone, thank you for playing. We'll be sending you home with a home copy of our game and a lifetime supply of Rice Roni, the San Francisco treat. The uh, coming up on cloudnative.tv this week, uh, tomorrow is uh, Search Magic with Saeem, which is the fourth episode of Search Magic and continuing a journey uh, going through all of the things for getting certified. If you, um, you know, the other way is uh, by winning, uh, by playing on CNCF Faceoff, you're giving a CNCF uh, certification of your choice. Um, so but if you don't want to play and win it that way, uh, Saeem will help you through the certification. And then on Friday, we've got Spotlight Live with GRPC uh, with April Kyle uh, Nasi of Google talking about that project. Uh, registration for KubeCon and CloudNativeCon North America is now open for both in-person and virtual. You can go ahead and I'll put a link in the chat 
for all the registration choices. We hope to see you there. I will be there um, every, hopefully. And uh, also, Cloud Native TV is on the CNCF store, so you can get stickers from your favorite CNCF TV shows. And I just popped a, a link in the chat there as well. Uh, both teams, thank you so much for being a part of this and uh, bringing bringing your best selves, or you know, in the case of Marty, yourselves. You know, uh, but either way, I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking trash. Your team won, so. Uh, Maddie, Maddie, by the way, Pop said he was going to give a special prize or treat to everyone he sees at the uh, KubeCon that has a CNC face-off sticker attached oh, to them. Oh, excellent. Yes. So we have to be wearing it. Um, and the more of them you're wearing, the more gifts that Pop will give you. So, you know, get yourself some stickers there. Uh, we will be doing some special uh, CNCF face-off events at KubeCon, so... Uh, we hope to see both virtually and in person. And with that, uh, as always, I am your host, Manny Stratton. My producer is Paul Zarkowski. We've been joined by the great team of uh, Tinkerbell, of David, uh, Marky, and Jeremy, and Team DevOps of Brendan Ice and Dinesh. And we will see you in two weeks. One day, Maddie will say my name correctly, and that's how I know I've made big time. I didn't say it right. What did I say? I said Zarkowski. Isn't that right? How do you say? <laughs> they can't see your little tear.